Professor Imran Rahman. <coughs> Sir, uh, we'd like to understand from your view and uh, what is the potential role of academia in increasing financial inclusion? Thank you, uh, thank you, Jai. Um, let me start by saying how pleased I am to be sharing the stage with our fund, Ali and uh, Faisal Hussain and Jai, Jai uh, Professor. Um, and I'd like to also mention that how impressed I am with, this, with the kind of uh, pioneering role played by Bank Asia. Because if I'm not mistaken, even the Bikash, Jokan Kutum mobile services, Ashat Chidavarukachil, the banks were deadly against it, if I'm not mistaken. Because banks are actually the Amadar Bath Mirror, particularly the money transfer business and the NMA. So, you know, I think there was a lot of resistance from the banks, and uh, for, thankfully, Bangladesh Bank overruled all of this and allowed uh, mobile financial services to come about. And uh, again, we are talking about an area taken in, this is potential threat for the traditional banking sector, then, and this, or the DFS. This will threaten the slow movers, the dinosaurs amongst the banking sector. And how brilliant of Bank Asia to be kind of ahead of that. It's like uh, it's like a bit like Grameen Phone. And I was just thinking about interoperability. If you remember Grameen, Jokon, uh, Grameen Phone, Sheba, Sheba, Actel, Shuru back in 1996, um, there was a lot of problem because Tawan Kintu could call mobile phone chilo, on a machine land phone chilo, TNT. But the connection, the switches between mobile and TNT were very, very small in number. So, uh, phone take a landline call for the phone to get a connection. And then Grameen Phone came up with a brilliant idea. They came up with this mobile to mobile idea. It happened, you take for granted. But Tokan Kantin, it was a brilliant idea. They thought, look, at the look at the mobile phone, we don't need TNT anymore, right? We will, we will create switches so we can talk to each other. You know, Grameen can talk to Sheba, Sheba can talk to Actel, and we'll make it incoming free. Tarage kintu phone receive korte kintu pasha lagto. Pratham jafan chilo. So, you know, that's kind of like an interesting, I think the key to interoperability should not be simply relying on, on uh, the policy makers, but to see a win-win situation and find where is that win-win situation. So, voluntarily, uh, the players will want to, um, you know, operate with each other. I think that's probably the most uh, uh, easiest way to go. Um, so that's what I wanted to say. And um, regarding your main question, um, I think uh, academia can play a huge role. Unfortunately, as I was talking to Vaisal and Perfan, that traditionally Bangladeshi universities have been kind of really isolated. Tara chakta class dhyalar mudde poracche chakta dhyalar kyo behote dhyana chakta dhyalar bandha kyo rakta mamra and teacher kyo behote right it's about time we come out you know open the windows bring in outsiders allow us to go out talk to our stakeholders in industry in government in the developing sector and that's a huge role uh, we'd like to play which is why we have uh, created the center for enterprise and society because business research practically non-exists in Bangladesh, one of the number of universities that we have.